<laughs> uh, I was wondering, like, since I've been around from eternity, yes, and uh, why has it taken? If it's been eternity, yeah. why has it taken me that long to reach? Hopefully, that I'm calibrating over two hundred. Is it because there is really is no past? Say that again. Say the question again. If if I've lived for eternity already. And I'm just at a certain point now, say, say I'm calibrating 210. Yeah. Why has it taken me all that time? Ah, oh, I see. Uh, if I... Is it because there's no such thing as time, or there is no past, or... Well, th that, that, that which is... puzzles me. That which is... You see, et eternity is already here. Mm -hmm. The eternal is already here. But that yeah. which is limited uh, is also, is also has a time track to it. Yeah. So just to have identification, as soon as there's identification with separateness, um, and then there's the tracking of things like time and identity. So that, that is in, within, the, if you like, within the illusory world of separation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So to, that experiences uh, the birth of time, the start of time, and also time elapsing. And when identification with this whole Identi identified package of separateness uh, mm -hmm. dissolves, then all that's left is the eternal. So the eternal is here and is present right now, but uh -huh. it's not, so that's always been and it will always be and is here right now, mm -hmm. but right. something is here which is identified. This package of identification, which is, if you like, a package of several beliefs, some of the beliefs can be tracking time, and you can mm -hmm. let go, you can do work of letting go of tracking time, and then it seems you, you get to a more timeless experience mm -hmm. of, what, of what, is, what is unfolding. So that's, that is bound by the law, by whatever limits it's buying into. Mm -hmm. But that which is eternal is not part of that. Mm. Yeah. Uh, th th so it's like, um, <clears throat> like um, you could say you wake up in the morning, there's no identity, there's no time, there's nothing. And then suddenly there is like a, an interest in something. And suddenly there's like an awareness that, of an I-ness. And then suddenly there's a, a recollection of identity. Yeah. And then suddenly there's a recollection, oh, after a period of time, oh, some time elapsed. So that is actually part of the identity. But actually, if you let go of all the identification with that stuff, there is only the timeless that has always been here and always will be here and is not subject to time, or any limitation, or any identity. I, I, don't, I don't know if that was clear. Yeah, yeah, it's very <coughs> clear, very clear, yeah. yeah. And uh, sort of what I suspected it was, but yes. I needed to have it clarified. Mm. I thought you were asking, um, but I, I think yeah. I thought the question was, and actually no, it would no. be a good, you know, how come it has taken that, let's say if somebody calibrates at 210, you know, yeah. whatever, why has it taken that, as that many lifetimes to get to that point and not higher than that? Oh, yeah, but I think he explained that. That's yeah. But uh, it might not have been your question, I'm just asking that question. That's what's the question. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. For me, uh, within uh, free choice exists. Mm -hmm. Free choice exists. So within the consciousness on how it aligns its intention, uh, choices arise which may lead to an increase in consciousness or a decrease in consciousness at, mm -hmm. any, at any point. Each life, each, each lifetime. lifetime. Yeah, each yeah, lifetime. Yeah, yeah. In, in a lifetime, uh, <clears throat> in a lifetime, uh, there's a few great tracks. One of the great tracks is uh, great pain and the uh, embracing of spiritual work, yeah. which usually can mean that within one lifetime you can rise several hundred points or even become mm. enlightened in one lifetime. Yeah. If, um, but also, as you go up, you have temp various temptations at different levels that, that arise. So even if you did make huge progress, you can get to a high level and make a huge error, huge spiritual error, and collapse. So yeah. eventually I'll, I'll talk at some stage, mm. not today, yeah. about... It seems, you know, this may sound egotistical, but it seems unlikely for me at this point, this lifetime, that, that I will make a great spiritual error. Yeah. Because I, I think I've come too far. Yeah. I, I, Does that sound egotistical? 
I think um, it, it's, uh, it's. I mean, I've, yeah. I now recognise even when I'm having a grouchy day. Yes. That this isn't the way to be. Come on, get your act together, Gallagher. Yes. You know, and uh, so I, I know how to get my consciousness my up very quickly. Yes. Mm. Yeah. I, think I, I can't see that changing. Mm. No, no. Mm. Well, I, 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 I get a very, very solid energy from you. Mm. I think um, you know, what comes up, mm. yeah, eventually what comes up are the things that haven't been resolved mm -hmm. for you to, uh, the, the, you could say they're like tests. Yeah, yeah, so even yeah. if you get to a huge grounded level. Yeah. Then I've had so many examples. <laughs> 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 I think I've resolved just about okay. all of it. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah, so, yeah but, uh, as, yeah. So yeah, yeah, so, yeah and yeah. Uh, if, uh, yeah, so that then that, that you'll be fine. Lately, <laughs> yeah. I don't seem to be getting many tests like I used to. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is brilliant. That's yeah, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, sometimes people, when they start spiritual work, uh, and if they if they choose, uh, like if you choose enlightenment or unconditional love. And uh, and you make a very strong commitment to it. It can sometimes bring up a lot of stuff very very quickly. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So mm. hence Hawkins gave the thing mm. of look at the saints. You know, they they had a lot of uh, dark nights of the soul. All kinds of uh, negative things occur. So that that's mm. so don't be distressed if you're pursuing spiritual work and you have a hard time having to yeah. and having a lot of things that you're having to resolve. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think what Hawkins said as well, on average, through Kinney's research, the average man, I guess the average man on the street, usually raises about five points in a lifetime, who's not doing spiritual, just the average Joe blocks. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. so, um, mm -hmm. so I guess, you know, it's like you're having a relationship with your wife, and then after several years you realize it's good to forgive as quickly as possible and, and move on, mm -hmm. and then be right, so you probably jump up five points. You know, with something like that, rather than intense uh, spiritual work. I just wanted to come in on on the aging thing, mm. right? and I will actually try in the future to have a specific mm. talk. But according to Hawkins, it, it is all belief systems. Mm. Yeah, you know, and uh, so it's just we're buying into very very strong collective belief systems, and we're, we're programmed in that way. But all of it is just beliefs. So um, hence. <coughs> I think he said there's a medical condition called progeria, progeria uh, where mm. uh, a yeah. person can age very, very rapidly yeah. within a, a yeah, short right. period of years. <coughs> and he says all that's happening there is that the belief system is that, you know, within a... So if the belief system is within one year, the body ages this much, then you age that much. So, so it might be a person will age 10 years according to a year, according to the belief system that they, they happen to, be, to have. So, hence, um, hence he, he said that just to break the idea that everyone has to succumb to the same belief systems and that it's actually all, if that makes sense. So you can, you can just as easily, mm, he said, use consciousness to reverse belief systems, you see. Uh, so with aging, it could be that your joints get, uh, your joints become more stiff, you lose all your hair. Um, you lose your hormones, but you can cancel that with the passing of time. That those start to become rebalanced. Mm -hmm. You see, so that's just uh, if consciousness, if consciousness is so is so powerful. It's just the beliefs that are held in mind that manifest. Yeah. But you just have to be aware that you don't get programmed by the world. Mm -hmm. If you meet someone and say, "Oh, you know, all of us at seventy are like this," mm -hmm. and then you buy into that, into mm -hmm. that. Uh, yeah. 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 